now we're going to look at bug tracking tool how to write a bug i wanted to show you guys hands-on how to write a bug or create a defect we're going to look into jira bug tracking tool so i'm going to search for jira free trial so this is the official jira site as you can see it says start with a free seven day trial i'm going to click on it so here they have two options cloud and self-managed we're not gonna go with the self-managed one we just want cloud one so we don't have to maintain anything so it seems like they have a new feature which is called if you have less than 10 user it's free so which is awesome so i highly recommend you to go get one or create an account so that way you can play around how many users do you have i would say five and i'm going to choose a free one so you can look at the different options they have but again i don't i don't want you guys to spend money on it unless you're really working on a project you know so here limit is 10 users i mean it has some limitations but it should be good for us at least what are you try what we are trying to do so i'm going to click on get started some reason my internet is very slow so you can sign up with your google or gmail accounts or you can sign up with your email so i'm going to actually go with uh, gmail enter your password and it is asking me for permission so i'm going to create uh, verify your email address and your name and then create your accounts it's taking some time it's setting up my account so meanwhile let me so here choose uh, something familiar like your team or company i'm going to say cloud automation cloud automation usa so just give a name click on continue welcome to jira software i'm going to skip it for now skip it so here you can invite your team so i'm going to skip it for now as well if you are new to jira select i'm new to jira for me i'm experienced with jira my team is so if you are new just select new i'm going to select experienced we spend our time working on fixing bugs so i'm going to select that we have i'll select tight i'm going to you can skip it but i'm going to say next so what kind of board do you want to create i'm going to go over different testing methodologies but for now think about kanban is a flavor of agile and scrum is a flavor of agile so what is the difference i'll go in depth but for now think of both are under agile kanban is a little bit flexible scrum is more you know a process oriented uh, so i'm going to select scrum because there's a really huge demand for people who are really familiar with scrum create a project so i'm going to say cloud demo and there's a key there there's a template i'm just going to go with the default template and click on create so here i have my board right i will go over in detail when i talk about scrum methodology so here we are interested in just create an issue so i'm going to click here issues are actually just click on top of the page create and here so how to create a issue so project so let's say if your company if you have multiple projects it will show up here but for us it's just only one so it should be selected by default but if not you can select it from here so that's a must if you see the red asterisk there that's a that's a compulsory so you have to select it uh, issue type story it's not a story i'll explain the difference between story task bug epic when i talk about uh, different methodologies for so we are creating a bug but the purpose of this tutorial is to just kind of walk you guys through how to create a bug the summary so what is the issue what issue do, do we want to create so actually let's uh, go back to qa doctors so this is a very big issue right the site is not working so we'll actually create an issue for this so i'm here summary we can say qa doctors side is down 
so then we have description section right so all these uh, fields you see uh, it varies by company you can also customize it but at least we will have to fill in the required fields so for in descriptions uh, we'll need to add more details meaning here i'm just saying q doctor site is down or it's not working here i can say qa doc doctor website is not working i am getting what's the error i'm saying 500 error you can copy the whole thing or you can just get this at least something we need to add more details so when you're writing an issue well, what are the best practices you have to add as much as detail you can so that way developers you know they will able to look into the issue because the end of the day they need to fix it right so more detail you provide it will be easy for them to find the issue otherwise they will have to actually figure out the issue and then solve the issue and then send you a fix so just to save time uh, good testers always add screenshots video video screenshots whatever the tools or resources available you try to add it there i'm getting following error when i enter when i go to the website then we'll paste in the quotation you just paste in here and then reported by reporter so this is if you're working in a if you have multiple team members your name will show up here so it is reported by me then you have the priority right so this is very important so this is highest priority how do you know many companies you know the project manager or uh, someone from product or QA lead they will set up the priority but in this case we know this is the highest priority because the site is not working labels if you want to add some labels labels is we'll skip it for now it's more of you know you can label it meaning what module is it right environment this is not requirement required but i would like to add it again it comes back to providing as much detail we can provide the environment i'm using mac os so another thing i need to grab about this mac i need to give them the version so that way they know because every os they have different versions so it will be difficult for them so i'm going to actually take it to my other screen it's not letting me copy it so i'm going to kind of type it mac carolina version 10 15 that way the developers they're not going to come back to you and saying okay what, what operating system are you using or if you're using mac or windows what version of the operating system are you using then uh, i'm going to i'm using safari so i'm going to say safari safari browser if you want to you can also give the version of the safari uh, that's 13.1.1 safari version 13.1.1 then here this is very important always try to provide as much details and a screenshot if you if it's you can uh, if it's really hard to reproduce try to take a video screenshot and go from there so i have this uh, tool called lighthouse i believe light shot screenshot uh, there are many more perhaps i'll create another video on how to install different screenshot tools so i'm going to click on take a screenshot then i'm just going to actually take everything here save this folder here i'm going to say qa doc so 500 error but i'm going to say safari max safari i'm just naming it according to the platform so that way it'll be easy for me think about i'm testing all day and then you have 20 30 screenshots it'll be difficult for you to find it so i'm just going to say browse here or you can just actually open the folder where you have this and then go from there but for us here here you go insert one file it is added a link linked issues so if we have another issue similar to this we can link it but we don't have any so then we go back to issues here nothing assign assignee so right now we'll leave it to assignee to default or automatic usually project manager or scrum master or lead someone from some one of the leads they will assign it to developers epic link we don't have epic link sprint link we don't have it yet i'll go in details when i talk about agile and scrum methodologies so i'm just going to quickly review here 
I think it looks good. Uh, we actually in descriptions, I know I forgot to mention one thing. We need to always add steps to reproduce, which basically means how can anyone reproduce the issue. First, so I'm going to say go to www.qadoctors.com. Then they will see the issue, right? But this is kind of straightforward, but in some cases, it'll be you will need to kind of lay out all the details. Let's say if the issue is difficult to find or you know cannot reproduce it all the time, or you might need five, seven steps to actually go to reproduce the issue or find the issue. Then it is always helpful to give all the details so some of your team members, even your scrum master or project manager, or some of the leads, you know, they can look look into it so they don't have to ping you or say hey how, how did you find the issue you know can you can you walk over so if you have it here it should be self you know explanatory so i'm going to click on create and the issue is created so if you click on this okay not going to so i'm going to go to backlog so if you go to backlog there's an issue here so as you can see all the details are here and our screenshot is here so that's pretty cool. This will help you guys to kind of play around. So just to summarize this section, I think this section is very important because for QAs, right, writing bug and reporting bug is like one of the main duties. Because we find issues, then we need to report it. Here we can add more details like on description section. This particular issue was kind of straightforward because the site is not working. In a, another video, I'll try to go through a complex issue where you know you have to take multiple steps. You might have to test it on different browsers. Perhaps it's working on Safari, then it doesn't work on Firefox, or you know it's working on websites, but it doesn't work on the apps or some of the devices. And uh, how to go about it? So idea is same. You know we'll just create different issues and then. This is also a very good interview question. They will ask you, what do you add when you create a bug? So if you play around a few times, this answer should be pretty easy to answer, right? So first, to create an issue, you go select your project. Then you select the issue type. Then you add a summary. Then you add description. In description, you try to provide as much details you can. And then you also add steps to reproduce instructions then you add who reported it reporter and then you add priority and which in what environment you found the issue then you add a screenshots and then you create so as if you can say all some of these points that's good enough there are various other tools in the market so jira is one of them you can also use alm this is very famous then there is a trello then there is a whole bunch of other bug tracking tool but jira is really gaining momentum and it's really easy to use i personally have worked with jira on many projects for many years and it's, it's pretty simple and uh, jira has other products it's kind of complements like confluence you know uh, so it kind of works together integration is easy there are a few other famous one now is uh, test rail and uh, linkit but the idea is same right the process is almost similar. You, when you create, you add all these details, what I mentioned it to you, and uh, try to add as much detail you can. All right, that's it for this topic.